Was Jesus created? According to some, prophecy shows that Jesus was created. However, this claim has many issues with it. Arians will claim that wisdom is Jesus, coming from the idea that Jesus is the word in John 1.1. 1, 1. The Greek word used is logos, which can mean the knowledge, wisdom, word, or divine essence. They normally keep their focus on verse 22 to 24, which says the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his work of old from everlasting was established, from the beginning from the earliest time of the earth, when there was no death I was brought forth, when there was no springs abounding with water. What is going on here is merely an etymological fallacy, as Dr. Falk notes. The problem is going to be that this is an etymological fallacy. Just because hechama means wisdom locus itself, even though wisdom is one of its meanings, it doesn't encapsulate the entirety of its meaning. Another issue is seen in the very first verse of Proverbs 8. Does not wisdom call and understanding lift up her voice? Is Jesus a woman? Well, certainly not. He is a son. But yet the passage says her voice. And in verse 2, she takes her stand. Jesus is not a woman. So this cannot be referring to Jesus. Rather, this is merely the personification of wisdom, as the public commentary notes. Wisdom is personified, though we are not so plainly confronted by an individual, as in the preceding case of the harlot. As other scholars also explain, many regard this passage as a description of the Son of God by the title, Wisdom, which the older Jew used describes him by that the Logos, the Word. But the passage may be taken as a personification of Wisdom, described as with God. Wisdom is not asserted to be God. The use of personal attributes is equally consistent with personification, as with the description of a real person. The personal pronouns used accord with the gender feminine of Wisdom constantly are never changed to that of the person meant, as something occurs in a corresponding use of spirit which is neutered in Greek, but to which masculine pronouns were often applied. Such a personification is agreeable to the style of this book.